There is no wrong or right when dealing with artworks. It's only a matter of beauty. Either it looks good or worse, and it is very subjective. This video will show you how to create your very own 3DS theme with the Usagi 3DS Theme Editor. Let's get started. You need to have a hacked 2DS or 3DS console for this guide. If you want to hack your console, please watch the pick hacks, the banner bomb 3, or the entire boot hacks method. Download the 3DS theme pack. This pack contains templates and examples so you can start creating your 3DS theme from scratch. Download the latest version of GIMP, or if you have Adobe Photoshop, you can use that too. This video will teach you how to create three types of 3DS themes, normal, panoramic, and animated. Let's start with the first one. First, let's extract the 3DS theme pack. Open the folder. And you can see three folders inside it. If you are lazy and want to be a lazy guy, go ahead, open the ready to use folder, and install the themes using anemone. But I'm sure you all want to learn something, so let's build the theme step by step. We will use the project files and the tools folder. Open the tools folder and extract its file into separate folders. Now open the 3ds theme editor and run the app. We can minimize the 3ds theme editor for now, because we will need to prepare the theme images. Get back to the project files folder and open the screen template folder. You can see two files inside this folder. If you are using Photoshop, you can open the PSD file. But in this video, I will use the game's XCF file. So this is the image template that I got from a deleted user on GBATM. I modified it a bit because the information is hard to understand. If you want to make a normal type 3ds theme, you must crop the top and the bottom image according to the black box. On the other hand, the red box represents the visible area. I've made an example, so let's load the top and the bottom image. Select file, then choose open as layers. Navigate to the project files folder, the theme variants folder, then open the normal theme folder. Select the top.png file and open it. This is an example of the top image, and the image size is exactly the same as the black box. Now we will load the bottom image. And the size fits the black box. Remember, only the red area is visible on your 3DS screen. We need to use a large image to get a nicer image quality, avoid glitches, and not correctly aligned. If you want to crop your favorite picture, please find a good tutorial on YouTube, as there are tons of it. By the way, you need to save each crop image as a single file. The template file is for reference only. Now I will show you the accessories, or the supporting images, like the icon border and the folder icon. You can edit or modify it as you like. Let's try opening the file large or the icon border template. Each template consists of several layers, so you can modify the image as you like. This is the file small template. And this is the folder close template. This is the folder open template. Back to the Usagi 3ds theme editor. We are now ready to import the images. But first, to accelerate the process, like picking the theme color and settings, better import the ready-made data. So click metadata, then choose import. Get into the 3ds theme pack folder, open the project files, and open the meta folder. Select the meta files, one file at a time. You can modify the settings later to suit your needs.
Now let's import the images. Click image, select top, then import. Get into the project files folder and enter the themes variants folder. Enter the normal theme folder and select the top image. Now import the bottom image. And import the rest of the remaining images. Now we will add the sound effects and the background music. I've supplied the sound files as examples, but we need to convert them to the correct format to use it on the 3DS. Get back to the 3DS theme pack folder, open the tools folder, open the looping audio converter folder, and run the app. We will convert the sound effects first, so click add, enter the sound effects folder, and select all the files. For the sound effects, we need to set the audio format to BC Wave. Select it from the drop-down menu. Then check the Convert to Mono option to compress the audio size. Then I set the sample rate to the default value and keep the audio file as non-looping. Then press the Start button. Now we will process the background music. Click Add, get into the BGM folder, and select the WAV file. If your BGM file is not massive, you can turn off the Convert to Mono option. Make sure the generated file does not exceed 3.3 MB in size. Keep the sample rate at its default value, and you may want to keep the background music loops if you like. Set the audio format as BCSTM, then press the Start button. We are done with the audio section. The processed audio files are located inside the output folder inside the looping audio converter folder. Now get back to the Usagi 3DS theme editor. Select Experimental, then choose Sea Wave Manager. Import the top 4 sound effects item. You can add the rest, but I didn't use it. Then press OK. Now let's fill in the theme description and its icon. To import the icon, select image, then choose large icon. Get into the images folder and select the icon. Now you can save the theme to anywhere you like. If you see this warning notification, there is no background music file present on the save path. Now we have to move the processed background music file to the theme folder. Get back to where we exported the music file. It is inside the output folder, inside the looping audio converter folder. Select the bgm.bcstm file and copy it to where we save the theme file. Please be aware that the file name should be bgm.bcstm or the theme won't detect it. Now if you resave the theme file, you won't get the error or warning notification. Now we need to zip the generated theme files to load it using Anemone later. I use WinRAR to get the job done. If you are using other file archivers, do the same thing too. Pack it as a zip file. Now we will create a panoramic type of theme using the same settings as the previous one. You can open the image template, disable the normal layer, and enable the panoramic layer. Then load the top and the bottom image from the panoramic theme folder.
Make sure both images cover the black box. Remember, this is for reference only. You must save the top and the bottom images as separate files. Back to the Usagi theme editor. Now load the top and the bottom images. Now click Flex. To create a panoramic type of theme, make sure to set the top and the bottom screen frame type to either fast scroll or slow scroll. If you use one image, crop for the top and the bottom screen, please set the same settings for the screen frame types. To preview the panoramic effect, press the Animate button. If you are satisfied, we can now put the bgm.bcsdm into the panoramic theme folder. Set the theme description and save it. Now as usual, we need to pack the generated files as zip. And you are ready to install the theme using Anemone. And the last one, I will show you how to create an animated type of theme. As usual, you can open the theme template file as a reference, disable the panoramic layer, and enable the animated layer. On the bottom screen, you can see three segments that represent three frames of animation. For your information, the animation feature applies only to the bottom screen. You can use a panoramic type of image or a fixed image for the top screen. Now let's open the top and the bottom image. As you can see, the bottom image is segmented into three parts, and I stretch the image on the rightmost to fill the excess section. Now let's import the top and the bottom image. Now click Flex. Since we can only animate the bottom screen, we need to set the bottom screen frame type to page scroll or bound scroll. Now let's get the background music and place it inside the animated theme folder. Set the theme description and save it. Now pack the generated files in zip format and you're ready to install the theme with Anemone. To install the theme with Anemone, put all the zip files into the themes folder. And Anemone will detect all the newly built themes. You can try installing them.
and that is how we build custom themes using the Usagi 3DS theme editor. Thanks for watching this video.